Hello, my beautiful diamonds. As you know, I always try to keep you informed in terms of what's currently going on in the world today and how people are currently thinking. That's what my channel is all about, empowering you and helping you to stay on top of things. What I'm about to share with you, I want you to please pay attention and focus because I've, I've noticed this myself. I'm going to share this clip with you and I'll come back so we can talk about it. Peace. And I'm gonna tell you something that a lot of people are not gonna tell you. We need to put this weed down, man. We need to put this marijuana down because I'm telling you the whole industry, everybody you know is smoking. That's the real deal. But guess what? Most people are depressed and down. It's not the same now. The marijuana is making you depressed. It's making you down. It's, 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 it's making you it's making you lethargic, man. It's making you pass your whole life up. It's making you pass your whole life up. I'm telling you right now, my little brother got a life sentence right now. We're fighting to get him out. He got a life sentence and his life started to change once he started smoking. The marijuana is not like it used to be, man. It's chemicals in it. It's stuff that make you highly addictive. And guess what? It's stuff that make you super sleepy and down. You smoke, you can be super hyped to do something. And the minute you smoke, you don't want to do it no more. Man, leave it alone. I'm telling you. What this man is saying is very, very true because what a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of these uh, poison pushers, as far as I'm concerned, are lacing this stuff with fentanyl. They're putting fentanyl, which causes people to become highly addicted. And they are spraying this stuff with chemicals this is not like the marijuana that they used to have back in the 60s. This is nothing like that. Now, I don't smoke uh, weed. I don't do any type of drugs at all. But have I ever smoked marijuana? Yeah, I have ex experimented with several drugs in my past and experimented is all it was. At the same time, this marijuana, and, and you know what, to be honest with you, my because um, you know I have glaucoma. And my doctor just recently gave me a prescription. Yeah, I mean, I could go right to the dispensaries and get myself all the weed that I'm willing to purchase, medical weed. And it still has that THC in it, which gives you that euphoric feeling. And it's legal. Well, we know up here, because I'm in New York and it's legal, period. At the same time, I actually have a prescription for it. Do you think I would ever uh, go to the... No, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in anything that's going to fry, fry my brain up. No, thank you, sweetheart. No, thank you. And that's what THC does. And we don't have any idea of what else they are lacing this stuff with. And when I listen and I, I read these comments here, what this man is saying is true because this is what other people are saying. One person says, Tell them, Lisa says, it's definitely not like it used to be. It doesn't even smell the same. Another user says, the people who need to hear this aren't listening. And they need to be listening. A person, another person, Carla, she said, what you're saying, you're speaking facts. Remember it used to make you laugh? And you used to get the munchies. Well, right now, it stinks. Now, I remember when I smoked uh, marijuana way back when, it used to make me laugh so hard. You know? I don't know what it's like now because I don't uh, engage in any of that. But from what I'm hearing and from the way I'm looking at people, like all around the world, and I'm looking at people on TikTok, you know, they come from all parts. And a lot of these people are very depressed and lonely. I've never seen so many miserable people in my life. The way I'm seeing how people look now. Another person says, it makes you very forgetful. Another person says that it's causing them to have mood swings at an all time high because it's not pure. 
And Beverly says, you are correct, sir. Back in the days, we used to laugh. We used to clean the whole house to some tunes, playing some music. Now, medical dispensaries, super sleepy, super lethargic. People are getting tired and weighed down, setting goals. You could be real hype to get something done according to what these people are saying. And according to what I'm seeing around me, you used to be super hype. Yo, let me clean. Let me do this. I got this going. The moment you take a, a, a puff of this nonsense, this filth, uh, you, you, you're tired. Laziness kicks in. You can't seem to get anything done. And God knows that I can't be so bothered with anything that slows me down. I can't, I can't be so bothered. Olive, Oliver says, everything you have said, it actually happened to me when I smoked. Now I stopped smoking and I don't smoke anymore and I feel more alive and I feel free. And we have Patty. She says, thank you so much for this message. I feel so much better since I stopped. I'm okay now. I have clarity and I'm so, so happy to hear someone else speaking out about this. And then we have Jacqueline. She says, I don't smoke. However, I know what you're saying. You're telling the truth because I've seen the results on other people. And Donnie, who is a mother, she says, brother, and she's writing everything in caps, meaning she's putting emphasis, or maybe it's because it makes it easier to read. She says, brother, I've been telling my kids this. This is so, so sad. It takes away your ambition and it makes you very complacent. And lastly, April Lewis, she says, it's true. And it smells really bad. I don't ever remember it smelling like that. I know when I, cause you know, I ride the bus going to work, going and coming up from work and I could smell these people. I mean, you can smell it when they, when they get on the bus, it's all in their clothes. And how are you going to work like that? What? And this stuff stinks. It smells. Or while I'm standing at the bus stop, since it's legal, you know, you got people standing there smoking this, this, this demonic nonsense and, and it stinks. It smells so bad. I mean, we're living in a world right now where everybody feels that they have to be all drugged up, all doped up, or I don't know what the hell is up. And that's because, you know, they need to turn their life over to their heavenly father and their Lord and savior, Jesus Christ, honey, because something's got to give because this crap is not working. It's, it's, it's not working. So I just want you to be careful out, out here, you know, people driving under the influence of marijuana so you have to be careful crossing the street you know because it makes the distance look farther when at least it's close this is what i've been told and this is what i've i've studied when when a person is 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 close up on you but when you're under the influence of this marijuana it makes it seem like the person is farther back away from you this is just insane but like i said stay prayed up you uh, don't, 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 don't start worrying and having all of this anxiety. You just take one day at a time, stay close to your shepherd, Jesus Christ, and stay prayed up. Okay. And be careful out here in these streets, <laughs> in these crazy streets. I love you so much. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds.